satisfaction that is wrong. His madness is for him that's enemy. Sir, in this audience, let my disclaiming from a purpose evil bring me so far in the generous thoughts that I've shot my arrow over the house and hurt my brother. I'm satisfied in nature, whose motive in this case will serve me most of my revenge. But in terms of my honor, I stand aloof, and will know reconcilement by still some other matters of no honor. I have a voice, and president of peace, to keep my name on board. But till that time, I do receive your offered love, by love, and will not wrong it. I embrace it freely, and will this brother's wager frankly play? Come, give us the foils, come on. Come, one for me. I'll be your foil, Laertes. And in mine ignorance, your skill shall like a star in the darkest night stick fiery off indeed. You mock me, sir. No, by this hand. Give them the foils, young Otter. Cousin Henry, do you know the wager? Very well, my lord. You put the odds on the weaker side. I do not fear, I've seen you both, but since he is better, we have therefore odds. This is too heavy. Let me see another. This likes me well. Have they all the length? I like the lord. Send me the slips of wine upon that table. If Henry give the first or second hit, I put an answer at the third exchange. All of battle the ordinance fire. The king shall drink to the Hamlet's better breath, and the coming union he shall throw, richer than that which four successive kings in Denmark's crown have worn. Give me the cups and let the cattle to the trumpets speak. The trumpets to the cannon are without, the cannons to the heavens, the heavens to earth. And now the king drinks to Hamlet. Come, begin, and you, the judges, bear wary of. Come on, sir. Come, my lord. One! No! Judgment! A hit, a very palpable hit. Well, again. Stay, give me, give me drink. Come in, this pearl is thine, and here's to thy help. Give him the cup. I'll play this bout first, set it by a while. Come. Another hit, what say you? A touch, a touch, I do confess it. Our son shall live. Oh, he's fat, he's got a friend. Come, take my name. The queen cries to the fortune, young man. Good madam. Gertrude, do not drink. I will, my lord. I pray your pardon me. Thanks, the poison cup is too late. I do not drink yet, madam. By and by. Come, let me wipe thy face. <laughs> my lord, I'll take him out. Do not think it. And yet it is almost against my conscience. Come for the third, Laertes. You do but dally. I pray you pass from the best violence. I'm fear you make a wanton of me. Say you so. Come on. Nothing either way. How about you now? <laughs> <laughs> Liquor left. Zuckerman, give me the cup. Let go of my head off. Oh, God, Horatio, 
Natasha, what a wounded name. Thanks, standing this, I know Charlie leaving behind me. But that has never hold me in thy heart. Absent thee from Felicity a while. And in thy heart shall dry thy breath in pain to tell my story. What more like noise is this? The war of Rob, the conquest come from Poland. From, yeah, Poland. The ambassador of England gives us more like volumes. Oh, I die, Horatio. The potent poison quite o'ercoes my spirit. I cannot live to hear the news from England. But I do prophesy the election lights on Port Frost. He has my dying voice. So tell him with the occurrence more and less, which have solicited the rest is silent. Now cracks the noble words. Good night. Lights of angels sing thee to their rest. Why does the drum come here? Where is this sight? What is it, you see? If all to blow or wonder, cease your search. Ah, this quarry cries on havoc. Oh, proud death. What feast tore to thy eternal self that thou so many princes hast so bloody struck? The size is dismal, and our affairs from England have come too late. The ears are senseless and should give us hearing to tell him his commandments is fulfilled. The Rosencrantz and Gloucester are dead. Where should we have our things? Not from his mouth, has the ability of life to thank you. You never gave commandment for their death. But since so jump upon this bloody question, you from the public wars and you from England are here arrived give order that these bodies have a stage to be placed to the view. And let me speak to the unknowing world how these things came about. So shall you hear of carnal, bloody, and unnatural acts, of accidental judgments, casual slaughters, of deaths put on by cunning and forced cause, and in this upshot, purposes missed to have fallen on the inventor's heads. All this can I truly deliver. Let us haste to hear it, and call the noblest to the audience. For me, with sorrow I embrace my fortune. I have some rights of memory in this kingdom, which now to claim my vantage by dividing. Of that I shall also have cause to speak, and from his mouth his voice will draw on one. But let this saying be presently performed. Even while men's minds are wild, less mischance on, air, on plots and errors happen. And the poor captain's bare hammer like a soldier to the sage, for he was likely, had he been put on, to prove most royal. And for his passage, the soldier's music and the right of war speak loudly for him. Pick up the bodies. Such a sight as this becomes a field, but here shows much amiss. Go, bid the soldiers shoot. Good scene. Very good, very good.